Hello everybody, my name is Douse. Welcome to Douse Rail and welcome to another Engage review. Something a little bit different pulling out of the shed today. Very identifiable almost immediately if you know about them. This is a GWR rail car. It's the Graham Farish model. This one is number 19. And I think it's from around about 1985, so I'm slightly embarrassed to say it's almost as old as I am. Being number 19, it means it was modelled on the 1940 version, so there have been a few versions of this GWR railcar, but this is the famous Flying Banana. It was their first attempt, really, to mainstream the idea of diesel locomotives as passenger cars and this was an incredibly successful version of it and this is a really lovely model of it um, I acquired it for just shy of uh, 60 pounds came to, comes to a box all very very nice and it's a very very interesting model and I want to show you why uh, in a little bit more detail so let's get a, into a bit of a closer look so this is technically chocolate and cream, I think it's referring to both the bottom and the top, but you can also see why they were called the Flying Banana. Um, I love the detail on this model, like from, from afar I think the detailing on this model is really really nice, Graffar Limited Britain, you can just see that. I think one of the most noticeable things obviously is due to the size of the motor inside, there is no detailing inside the model, neither the front or the back cab has a big screw just to kind of emphasize my point but the shell of the model I think is fantastic it really does a great job of, of, of showing you what, what they look like if you look at models and, and, and other photos in other scales I think it does a really good job of capturing what they look like it is very much a from a far model there's a little bit of detailing as well on the sides and back um, it does make it look very very pretty and it is a very very pretty model just from afar you get too close and it kind of shows its age a little bit. So let's have a look at it on my layout. Um, normally I would hook it up to something but I thought I'd try and stay a little bit authentic and just showed it as running as a kind of an express rail car. I think these models had around about passenger capacity of about 70. Um, the number 19 was basically the, the second generation of these rail cars and so they had a bit of a higher capacity. It looks lovely and runs really really smooth um, I think it's the first kind of non steam locomotive I've had on this layout and it really does show you where that length of body and the, the numerous contact points it does have a smoother experience than other uh, locomotives I've had on the track and she can run at super slow speed which I think is really really uh, again pleasant and pleasing didn't come off the track once never had any kind of trouble with it and so it looked great. But I did notice that these models also started, because of their popularity, started pulling coaches. So I decided to go grab one. Well, I say one, I do mean two. Two LMS coaches, just to see what she would look like with a full contingent behind her. And again, runs pretty decently. And again, looks lovely as well. Um, obviously not period appropriate in terms of manufacturer, but all in all looking very very nice going around the track will I keep her will she become part of my collection I'm not a hundred percent sold on it um, she's a bit noisy and I think again that's just her showing her age but also I just don't think she's that pretty and that might be my kind of biases against diesel locomotives coming through um, I think I would rather have a more permanent steam locomotive in, in her place. But as a piece of history, as a piece, as a as a kind of a way of looking at diesel locomotives and how they became um, part of the, of the the passenger express model. I mean, the, the 19, I think it was the 1936 rail car, GWR rail car, was the first express kind of passenger service could take you from Cardiff to Birmingham in two hours and 20 minutes and so it was really marketed at uh, business people at the idea that you know we, we could create commuter services and I think that's where this model really pulls through as a kind of a breakout so it's nice to have while I keep her again I'm on the fence but runs probably one of the best running locomotives I've got on, in my collection and does a great job so let's send her on our way 
And I just want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.